In this lecture, we'll study Z transform and ROC of finite duration sequences. That is, we'll see what is finite duration sequences and where ROC exists for finite duration sequences. The sequence in which the number of samples are finite are known as finite duration sequences. Finite duration sequences are of three types. That is right hand sequence also known as right sided sequence. Second one is left hand sequence also known as left sided sequence. And the last one is two sided sequence also known as double sided sequence. Now let's see one by one in depth. Right hand sequence. The right hand sequence is the one for which x of n is equal to 0 for all n less than n naught, where n naught is positive or negative but finite. That is, n naught is finite number. If n naught is greater than or equal to 0, then the sequence x of n is said to be a causal sequence or positive time sequence or also known as right hand sequence. For right hand sequence, ROC is entire Z plane except Z equal to 0. Now we will consider one example of right hand sequence and we will try to plot ROC. Let the sequence X of N is equal to 1, 2, minus 1 and x of 3 is 3. So, this sequence x of n consists of 4 samples that is x of 0, x of 1, x of 2 and x of 3. Now, we will try to find the z transform of x of n. z transform of x of n that is z transform of x of n is represented as x of z which is given by summation n varies from minus infinity to infinity x of n z power minus n. We will try to simplify now. Therefore, x of z is equal to here we can see that x of n exists from 0 to 3. Therefore, n is equal to 0 to 3 as it is finite x of n z power minus n. We will simplify this further. We will expand the summation. I can represent it as substitute n equal to 0 till 3. That is x of 0 z power minus 0 plus x of 1 z power minus 1 plus x of 2 z power minus 2 plus x of 3 z power minus 3. Further, I can simplify this as x of 0 value is 1, z power 0 is 1, therefore it is 1 plus x of 1 is 2, 2 z inverse plus x of 2 is minus 1, minus 1 z power minus 2 plus x of 3 is 3 that is 3 z power minus 3 or this I can be represented as x of z equal to 1 plus 2 by z minus 1 by z plus z square it is 3 by z cube. So here we can observe that if z is equal to 0, then x of z will become infinity. That is x of z does not converge. Therefore, we suppose to take the value of z such that it should not be equal to 0. Therefore, I can say x of z is finite for all values of z except z equal to 0. Therefore, 
x of z is finite for all values of z except z equal to 0. Therefore, therefore, ROC is that is z should be greater than 0. So, therefore, ROC is entire z plane except 0 that is entire z plane except except at z equal to 0. Now I will draw the ROC. So let this be z plane. So here ROC exists entire z plane except at 0. That is if we consider this as 0 except this origin So entire Z-plane except origin left hand sequence or left sided sequence. Left hand sequence is the one for which X of N is 0 for all N greater than N0 where N0 is a positive or negative but finite number. If N0 is less than or equal to 0 then the sequence x of n is said to be left hand sequence or anti causal sequence. For such sequences, ROC is entire z plane except z equal to infinity. Now we will consider one example of left hand sequence and we will try to plot ROC. Consider a left hand sequence x of n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 2. Here the starting point is this one. Therefore, now we can write x of 0 is 2, that is 2. And this sample exists at n equal to minus 1. That is x of minus 1 is 3. This sample exists at n equal to minus 2. x of minus 2 is 2. And x of minus 3 is 1. Or I can plot here x of n sequence. Zero, say minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. At n equal to 0, magnitude is 2. This is 2. At n equal to minus 1, its magnitude is 3. At n equal to minus 2, again its magnitude is 2. And at n equal to minus 3, its magnitude is 1. So here we can see that all the samples exist on left hand side so it is called left hand sequence now we'll try to find the z transform of x of n that is z transform of x of n is given by x of z which is equal to summation n varies from minus infinity to infinity x of n z power minus n we substitute the values Therefore, x of z is equal to summation. Here n varies from minus 3 to 0. Therefore, I can write n is equal to minus 3 to 0. x of n z power minus n. We will simplify this further. x of z equal to expanding summation. I can write x of minus 3 z power minus n, n is minus 3, it will become plus z power 3 plus x of minus 2 z power 2 plus x of minus 1 z power 1 plus 
x of 0 z power 0 x of minus 3 value is 1 that is 1 into z cube plus x of minus 2 is 2 2 z square plus x of minus 1 is 3 that is 3 z plus x of 0 is 2 that is 2. So here we can observe that if we consider z equal to infinity then x of z will become infinity that is it does not converge therefore x of z value is finite for all values of z except z equal to infinity therefore x of z is finite for all values of z except z equal to infinity so therefore we can write roc that is z must be less than infinity here roc is entire z plane except z equal to infinity therefore roc is i will show the z plane here so consider this as z plane let this be real axis of z and this is imaginary axis of z we will assume that this point is infinity that is minus infinity and this is plus infinity so here roc exists the entire z plane that is entire z plane except at z equal to infinity so here this infinity point is just assumption for the understanding purpose so here i can show the roc like this So it is less than infinity. That is entire Z plane. So this is representation of ROC in Z plane. Now take two sided sequence. If the sequence has finite duration on both the right and left sides is known as a two sided sequence. For two sided sequence ROC is entire Z plane except Z equal to 0 and Z equal to infinity. Now let us take one example of two sided sequence and we will try to draw ROC. Consider two sided sequence that is x of n is equal to 1 let this be starting point this is the sample at n equal to 0 that is we can represent it as x of 0 is 1 x of 1 is 2 x of 2 is 1 x of minus 1 is 1 that is this sample is at minus 1 x of minus 2 is at 2 of n 0 1 2 here it is minus 1 minus 2 at 0 its value is 1 at n equal to 1 its value is 2 at n equal to 2 its value is 1 at n equal to minus 1 its value is 1 at n equal to minus 2 its value is 2 so here we can observe that x of n having samples on right side as well as on left side so it is called two sided sequence now we will try to find x of z that is z transform of x of n therefore z transform of x of n is equal to x of z which is represented as n varies from minus infinity to infinity x of n z power minus n therefore x of z equal to here we can observe that x of n 
having the samples from minus 2 to plus 2. Therefore, n is equal to minus 2 to plus 2 x of n z power minus n. Expanding this, I can represent it as x of minus 2 z power 2 plus x of minus 1 z power 1 plus x of 0 z power 0 plus x of 1 z power 1 z power minus 1 plus x of 2 z power minus 2. We will substitute the values now that is x of z equal to x of minus 2 is 2 that is 2 z square plus x of minus 1 is 1 z plus x of 0 value is 1 that is nothing but 1 into z power 0 is 1 that is 1 plus x of 1 is 2 2 z inverse plus x of 2 is 1 z power minus 2 therefore x of z can be represented as 2z square plus z plus 1 plus 2 by z plus 1 by z power 2. So here we can observe that for z equal to 0, if we take z equal to 0, then 2 by z that is 2 by 0 will become infinity that tends to that tends x of z to infinity. Similarly, if we take z equal to infinity, then x of z will be infinity. Therefore, z transform does not exist for z equal to so therefore here x of z does not converge for z equal to 0 and z equal to infinity x of z is finite for all values of z except z equal to 0 and z equal to infinity. So therefore we can write ROC is this z should be less than infinity and it should be greater than 0. This is the ROC for two sided sequence. I will show on the z plane now. So now here we will assume that this is origin point and this is the point where z equal to infinity that is this is minus infinity and we will assume that this is the point where z equal to plus infinity this is just assumption for understanding purpose. So the entire z plane ROC exists except at 0 that is 0 and at z equal to infinity. So we can show it like this. So this is ROC. So here ROC does not exist at z equal to 0 or at origin. Thank you for watching.